Press play on the box. Press play on the box. My name is Russell Shokes III. I'm the son of Russell Maroon Shokes, who's a political prisoner out of Philadelphia. My dad was incarcerated because him and his comrades went down to shoot a, a police officer. There was an Amadou Diallo style shooting where a cat was young and he was joyriding a car and, and he ran in the back of his mom's alley kitchen and the cops shot him in front of his mom. And so the whole neighborhood was outraged and they went to retaliate. But it went retaliating being uh, part of the Black Panther Party, being part of the BLA, Black Liberation Army? Actually, this was prior to them merging oh, really? with them and they okay. had a they had a small organization So what called, year was this? This was, uh, I would say, probably 68 or something okay. like that. Or 69, something like that. Right. And so, was he arrested immediately or? No. No, he wasn't. Uh, at some point, he went on the run for two years. Okay. As his comrades were caught on the scene almost. Right. And he was on a run for two years and went to New York and lived in the underground in New York for two years. Right. And so... When did he get, when and how did he get caught? I, mean, I guess he got caught 1970? 70, 71. Okay. And uh, where, basically, where, was he caught here in Philadelphia or was he? He was caught here in Philadelphia. Um, he was making trips back and forth to see his family. Okay. His moms, his aunts, his sisters, you know. How did he become politicized? How did he become, I mean, was he always? He was politicized through the actual actions in the city through Rizzo, through the little boy being shot, through uh, people coming at him and saying, we need to do something. So about it's this. almost. It's, we're gang, we're gangbangers, you know. Okay, so. Not yeah, gonna let so the, the community is being, you know. Right, because the, the gang situation in those days was more um, territorial. Gangs protected communities. Yes, yes, yes. So and like, this guy lived in the community. He so lived he was, right around the corner. He so was, it was part like of that. the. We knew him. Right. We didn't know. My dad knew him. Right. And so they felt compelled. They were politicized through through, through the bathing. Right. Of the, <laughs> yeah, by know. living it. Yeah, by living it. And they, they formed organizations, Black Unity Council, Buck an Organization. One of the first organizations that him and my aunts were involved in was called the Black Unity Council or the Buck. Right. And the Buck merged with the Black Panther Party. And actually, the Black Panther Party recognized the Buck as, as really militant. Right. And, and they sought them out as a part of their military wing. So, so your dad really... So this action was more of a, of a, a politicized gang action in the, in the terms of gangs not in terms of like the Black Liberation Army or the Black Panther Party or any other uh, uh, right. military sure. or militant actions. Yes, and a lot of that came after the fact. Right. Wow. Yeah, That's they heavy. were. Yeah, they were already organized in a certain type of way, and they were already they were already being terrorized in the community. Right. And they were figuring ways to try to deal with that. Right. It's because there was no other options. The, yeah. The, the police were, I mean, it was Rizzo time. And, yeah. You know, it wasn't just because you were still in a car and joyriding. You're just getting bopped upside the head just right. Just because. Yeah. It's, not, so it, it's, it. like, um, it's like when uh, um, that famous essay that um, uh, Amiri Baraka wrote about bebop, that bebop, the strength and the, and, the, and the energy of bebop came from being knocked upside the head. Right. Right. By cops right. and by the system. Right. You know what I mean? It was beep, bop. Right. You know? Right. Uh, yeah. In a totally. lot of ways, that was that was your dad. That was my dad totally in the context of they were just trying to drink wine and sing on the corners, but getting beat for it. Right. You know, and it was commonplace for the cops to throw you in the back of the paddy wagon 
and beat you and drive around town and let you out on the other side gang territory. That and was let, common. And, and let you catch a beating over and there. And let you catch a beating over there. Oh, my